Hello everyone, and welcome to another Planet Zoo game tutorial. This time, we're gonna focus on making custom bedding and or sleeping spots. With this mechanic, you guys will be able to make animals sleep in chosen, designated areas, outside of the usual shelter of visible bedding in a hard shelter. Here are some examples. Here we see some cows make a shelter out of this jump-in roof area with a flower bed as a makeshift mattress. See? Sleeping right there. Here are some otters choosing to specifically sleep near the roots of a tree surrounded by plants on a small island. Here's an Asiatic lioness tending to sleep solely on a platform of flat faux rocks. And lastly, a verbit monkey recognizing and harnessing a bed meant for humans. Okay, here's how I got the effect. The bedding is actually still very much there. It's just obscured beneath the soil. And I discovered that despite this, the animals still act as if it's above the ground. The same examples have been applied to the other builds as well. Now, making this work depends on the type of bedding you're trying to obscure. For something like the jetty, which turns out also works on land animals, it can just be as simple as sinking it into the ground with the vertical axis, or hiding it within a designated structure. For the more flat beddings, like the leaf and the hay beddings, it's pretty similar. Only when sinking it into the ground, you should also include the addition of flattening it to the foundation to properly hide it afterwards. As for putting them into the structures, well, it's kind of similar. Only you get even more open-minded options since there are various sizes provided. But for any structure, it's important that the animal should be able to transverse the structure over the concealed bedding, and for the bedding itself to not be too far from the structure's surface. Because otherwise, the animals will sink into the structure in the blink of an eye. Like so. See? Right there. Avoid that. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys have fun with this little hack, which will hopefully allow you to build more intriguing structures for your animals outside of the norm. And as usual, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more future videos. Now see you guys next time.